Have you ever been so excited for something and you just can't handle yourself? That's me. I am heading over to Princeton, Illinois today to meet with soybean breeder Don Kyle. And we're gonna learn about all the ins and outs that Pioneer puts into their research into getting that incredible seed in the bag. And so I love learning. I hope you guys love learning and let's go. Hey there, welcome. I'm Kylie, a farmer, mother, and lucky enough to be married to my fourth generation farmer. Together we raise corn, soybeans, hogs, and kids. Thanks for tuning in, enjoy. Okay, so I am here today in the land of Lincoln, Princeton, Illinois, with Don Kyle, and he is, well, I'm going to let you tell us that. Don, what's your position with Corteva? Uh, I'm a soybean braider. Okay. In, in layman's terms, that's what I do every day. So. Perfect. So we're at the Corteva Research Facility, and we're learning about uh, disease pressure and different, different aspects of the soybean. Tell me a little bit more about what the soybean breeder does. Yeah, so well, we spend a lot of time getting rid of things that don't belong in our customers' fields and finding the ones that do. So really, you know, understanding the genes that are going on inside the soybean plant and trying to combine our best genetics to make better varieties. And then we go out and measure that to see if it really proves itself across a lot of locations here locally and then across a broader area. So what I'm hearing for you is you're trying to breed the best plant for the right soil conditions for the customers, for the farmers. Yeah, that's correct. Great. Yep. So we're, set, we're actually standing in front of our Enlist E3 plots here. Tell me more about the Enlist E3 program from your side of things. Yeah, so, you know, today there's a lot of different herbicide options out there available for customers. And, you know, we've really been trying to deliver good solid products for, for all of those avenues. And Enlist is a new herbicide technology that's really been coming into the marketplace over the last year. A lot of interest and excitement because of the flexibility in the weed control system and how well it works. And yeah. so people are pretty excited about that. And so we're really trying to find, you know, those best varieties that have Enlist E3 in them to get it out there to our customers and, and make sure that our future pipeline is, is really focused on Enlist E3. Perfect, perfect. So we have this broad, we have tons of options when it comes to soybeans. How do we get from the tons and tons of options, you're doing all your genetic work, how do we get down to the seed that is in the bag? Yeah, well, um, as a plant breeder, you want to create a lot of genetic variation by crossing your best varieties together. And, but then a lot of those progeny, those derivatives from that cross aren't really useful to the customer. And so, you know, those first couple years of field testing are really about finding those and getting rid of them. So you can get focused on the varieties that do have the potential to deliver customer value. And so then we go through that next three or four years of testing and field testing, really validating and sorting those out at a finer level. And that comes through, you know, uh, like I mentioned, uh, local testing, so a lot of plots locally, and then wider area to try to understand how this variety performs stably across different environments, different weather patterns, different soil types, and then doing disease screening like our sudden death syndrome screen, which we visited here, uh, t testing them against our white mold field screening using our molecular markers and, and screening to understand do they have uh, soybean cyst nematode resistance, how do they perform when the fields are wet um, and they maybe have phytophthora, etc. So that's really how we sort down through that funnel of a lot of variation down to a key set of varieties that we offer our customers. And by the time we get to that customer, we want to know and understand that variety really well. And so with the Enlist E3 soybeans, we're talking about um, something that, that I, I'm now newly familiar with. I feel familiar with it now. We've planted it and kind of grown it all season. What defensive traits, what, what's so glamorous about the E3s? Why, why would we plant them again? You know, when you think about varieties that have uh, good genetic potential, you know, the real differentiator is that just that flexibility and herbicide control. And then, you know, as we build in better and better genetics, that's where we continue to drive better yields, better disease tolerance, better stress tolerance to the customer by bringing them that best level of genetics with the best level of herbicide trade out there. 
we are really satisfied on our farm so far with our experience. We're excited for harvest next month. And this has just been really eye-opening to see all of the research and the work behind what goes into the seed that we get on our farm. So we're really excited to continue learning more about the uh, soybeans at Pioneer, but then also the Enlist E3 soybeans for sure. I think it's important for the customers to really have that knowledge and confidence to go out there and be able to put that crop in because there's a lot of investment there. So Confidence and trust, those are two, two main things. Yeah, absolutely.